Susa Day. My name is Kenneth, and I'd like to welcome you to the second in our videos teaching you how to become a better writer using English. Today, I'm going to cover a few topics, and then later you'll have a quiz and there are three hours of tutoring that will be available to you also. So today, I'm going to tell you what is an essay, what is a paragraph, what is a sentence, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of types of sentences, and I'm going to talk about conjunctions and how they're important. So let's first start off with an essay. An essay usually or always deals with something that's non-fiction. So something real might be writing something about history, writing something about science, writing an essay on economics, or giving your opinion about something. These are all non-fiction and would be what you would do with an essay. The next thing is that an essay really doesn't have a specific length. But in general, an essay is going to be maybe from about one page, three paragraphs, to maybe ten pages. The last thing I want you to know about essays is that they're going to focus on one topic. And this is pretty different because a book can be very wide. So a book might talk about economics or microeconomics, and it covers everything there is to know about microeconomics. Whereas an essay might just talk about economics in Cambodia, specifically using both Khmer money and American money. That would be an essay. Also, you could also say that an essay is basically a collection of paragraphs that has an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. A paragraph, like the essay, is also a collection of sentences and a paragraph will have a topic sentence, the body or support, and the conclusion at the end. So, niek mai, introduction or topic sentence, would be lo ba brotin ba. The body or supporting ideas, piesa kamai, lo ba kom tro. And conclusion would be lo ba sanitam. So both the essay and the paragraph are focused. This is very important for you to understand. Niekmai, focused or narrow would be niekmai padao. So the essay is more broad, the paragraph is more narrow, and the sentence is much more narrow. This is similar to like a duck. You have the duck, which is the entire thing. The duck is made of feathers, wings, heart, lungs. That would be the paragraphs. And then within the lungs, the heart, you have cells or atom. my atom. So I want to focus mostly on sentences today. Niekmai lo ba. So first of all, a basic simple sentence is going to be subject, bratin a verb, karya sap, and object, gamma bot. So let's try an example. Riti likes sticky rice. Riti juljat by damnab. So in that sentence, what is the subject? Good. The subject is Riti. Riti is the one doing the liking, the action. So what is the verb? Good. The verb is liking. This is an action. To like, to walk, to jump. So the object must be sticky rice. Sticky rice is liked by Riti. So that's the object. Let's try another example. Cambodia is hot. One more example. Pachu Ben is a Cambodian holiday. Nye Khmai Parota Kampachia Kadao. Hainang Madong Tiet Pachu Ben Kuchia Ban Chiet. So these are all simple sentences because they have a subject, a verb, and an object. So Cambodia is hot. What is the verb? Good. The verb is is. It connects the subject, Cambodia, and the object, hot. The next sentence, Paju Ben is a Cambodian holiday. So what is the object? Holiday. 
It's after the verb. So, is Cambodian holiday. All right, so let's go on to the next type of sentence, which is a compound sentence. In Khmer, Nie Khmer, Le Ba Psam. And all it's doing is joining two sentences together. Nie Khmer, you have what's called a clause. Nie Khmer, Klia. So, Klia P to make a sentence. So, you join the two clauses together using a conjunction. So let's try something. Two sentences. Ritti likes sticky rice. Ritti doesn't like soy sauce on his rice. These are simple sentences. Join them together. Ritti likes sticky rice, but he doesn't like soy sauce on his rice. That's a compound sentence. So two important conjunctions I want you to learn today are and, also, but. You use and when the two clauses agree with each other. For example, Sri Nien likes seafood and she often eats oysters. So in this case, liking the seafood and eating oysters go together. Basically, she likes seafood. Another example, Ronnie went to the party last night and she met some nice people there. They go together, she's at the party, and at the party she met people. So and is joining the two clauses and it goes together. They agree with each other. But is when the two clauses disagree. They say one says this, but the second clause says something different. Ming loves Lao, but he hates the weather there. So in this case, first of all, Ming loves Lao. The second one, he doesn't like Lao because of the weather. So but is used as the conjunction. So let's review what we've covered today so you can go take the quiz and be ready for your online tutoring. First, you learned about what is an essay, what is a paragraph, and what is a sentence. Next, you found out that each one of these has to be narrow in focus. We'll talk more about this during your tutorial. Next, you learned about two different types of sentences. And last, you learned about conjunctions, specifically and, but. So I want to thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good week, and we will see you on the tutorial. Akuncha. Mm -hmm.